Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back for another episode of an author blocks. And in today's episode, I don't really have a plan, we're just sort of hopping on, recording, but I have some things to show you. Um, over here, we have a friend. A friend in a boat, who's living down here, <laughs> being derpy with his carrot and his phantom head. <laughs> And there is a really fun story behind how this guy got here in a boat with diamond enchanted pants and like uh, pants and boots on. Yeah, I don't quite know what he's doing, but he lives here now. And first and foremost, I'm gonna show you what happened with this guy and how he got there. He's got an egg. <laughs> he's got. He's got an egg. Run, nerd. He's too powerful. <laughs> oh wait, I can put- let me put the phantom head on him. He's a little devil child. We can put the phantom on him. Hi. Hey! Oh, he got it! Ah! Hey, he got ah! it! Okay, okay, rest ah! okay, no. <laughs> ah! 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 <laughs> We lost them. How do we lose him? I don't know how we lost them. It doesn't even make sense, how did we lose them? I found him! Oh, you found him? Yeah! <laughs> Where? He's just chilling. Oh, there they are. Okay, wait, wait. Let's get them to your area. I don't want him. No, you gotta have him. Someone's gotta have him. You have him. Oh, oh it's on me now. Yeah, it's yours now. Your problem. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be your problem soon. I'll put him in my area. I'll drown him. He is a fancy. Wanna, wanna come into the water? Come into the water? Come into the water? Come into the water? Come to the water? Come to the water? Get him in the water. Get him in the water. No, what is he doing? Just jump in the water. Jump in the water. Too. Okay. Oh, this is perfect. We've okay, gotta now him. we just We've have to keep him. Yeah, we have to keep this one. Let's just put him in a boat. Which is here. Yeah. All right. Do you have a boat? Uh, I don't have a boat. All right. You, okay. You uh, you wait here. He's I'll on go, me. You go get a boat. I'll go get a boat. Boat. Ah, it's in the boat now. <laughs> right, just oh, chilling. this is beautiful. This is amazing. <laughs> this is perfect. This is a screenshot moment right here. All right, that was lovely. Come on, zombie, 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 zombie. Come to me. We're gonna put you in your new home in the cave. Our guy is in his home. <laughs> okay guys, in this episode, the main bulk of it is gonna be, I am gonna be building another new shop. So in the last episode, we built the mole shop where we sold coal. But in this episode, I'm gonna be building a joint shop with one of the members on the server. You guys may or may not know him. He is our resident German rodent, and it is Nano. Who we have worked with Hello many everybody. times My before. Name is Nano. My yes. name is Nano. Welcome back to an old vlog. This is Nano. Hi, Nano. Yeah, and uh, some future episode, I am gonna enlist the services of Nano down the line, but he doesn't know about that yet. So. No, I, I don't know what you're talking about. But in this episode, we are going to be building our shop, which we first built over in SMPDX season two. But we're bringing it back. It's called the Aesthetical Emporium, and it is where we sell. Uh, the little details of builds. So say you've got a build that looks really nice, but you're not quite sure how to make it fit into the world. Well, yep. then that's where we come in. We come in and build paths around it, trees, stuff like that, that frames the build in a really, really nice way, because not to toot our own horn, but we're pretty good at that. We are, yes. Um, I'm sure you've seen in my um, area over there, that all of it fits together really nicely with different uh, details and the whole river we've built and yeah we're just going to design a shop here it's going to be relatively big and it's basically going to show off what we can do and then we'll yes. have inside uh, uh, various different signs with different prices whether you want a complete area overhaul um, just around a build all different prices and then members of the server can come here and uh, buy our services and then uh, in every couple episodes or so we will come and do some building in those areas because we both really enjoy building and when we build together since we have quite a similar style it usually works out quite well yes it does usually so yeah Nana do you want to talk about this area a bit and what we've got going on uh not really like, okay I don't know what to, I don't know what to say about it really I mean yeah we've chosen an area just here in the shopping district so the mole is currently 
over there you can just see his little fingers poking out behind the rocket we have decided to come the other end of the shopping district much nearer to town where this area already looks really really nice courtesy of i think uh, other toby has sorted this area out to make it look really nice uh and we're yeah we're gonna build our shop just on this hillside so it looks a little more pronounced than the other shops a bit higher up we'll have the path probably winding up this hillside might take this back a bit make it into a little bit of a cliffside make it all really nice looking and have a quite quite a grand shop with like a proper emporium whereas last time we built a little bit of a, <laughs> a little bit of a run down tree house and called it an emporium <laughs> so yeah yeah we're gonna get some progress done get some designing done maybe on a creative server since there's both of us working on it then we can work mm. out what we need and get those resources collected Okay, so we've got all the resources gathered up for our build, and I'll give you a quick preview on what they are going to be. A lot of oak wood, and quite a bit of spruce, uh, some sand, stone bricks and all that. And we are working on now of building up the area we want to build it on, up to a uh, lovely level. So it overlooks a bit of the shopping district, makes our build feel a bit more grand, a bit more uh, cool. And the building's actually not that big. We'll only take up a small fraction of this, but we're going to have a lovely big garden around it just to show off what we can do to your area. Um, and yeah, Mighty High is just here dropping off some stuff. Uh, so thank you very much for the help. But yeah, I'm going to jump back in with Nano and we are going to continue building. Okay, so me and Nano have been hard at work here adding in some details uh, around our shop. And it is looking really nice. Nano came up with this awesome idea having these big clumps of rose bushes. Which just looks amazing and then we're framing it with these sort of berry bushes which uh, I thought of and I just got stabbed by one um, and yeah it's gonna look really really nice hopefully once everything's grown up Nano's just run to get a bit more bone meal because this side of the garden over here if I can run through without getting stabbed by berry bushes is pretty much done looking very lush very green very nice um, but this side here and uh, around the back here is still looking a bit bare bones but we will get there eventually and we've also got this pond here which I built which uh, just adds a nice little feature into the middle of the garden here but yeah Nano built these little uh, sandstone clumps where maybe a wall once was around this place uh, which has sort of crumbled away and I've added some bushes around there to sort of insinuate like a bit of a hedge going on and then with these clumps of rose bushes bordering it as well this build is starting to feel a lot more complete and yeah this is really just showcasing the sort of stuff we can do at Aesthetical Emporium just to uh, bring the life out of a build because this build uh, without it is is a pretty good build but it's also a little bit bland in areas but with this garden around it it just looks like it really fits in here especially from this view here it just feels like it really fits in in fact I'm going to take a screenshot of that that will probably be the thumbnail um, just because it looks really nice from that view but yeah we have done pretty well, and I think we've actually got quite a bit of time left for this episode, so I might see if I could squeeze in a few uh, micro-projects into the end of this episode. But apart from that, um, yeah, this this shop's pretty much done now. Okay guys, so in the last clip we finished up the shop with Nano over there, and in that time I have moved back to Cardiff, where I am currently studying at university, but we've run into a slight issue with that, in that the Cardiff University Edge Room, which is the Wi-Fi, does not allow online games unless you are registered with your MAC address, which I am yet to be. So I've submitted my MAC address to be registered, and hopefully in the next 48 hours it should be registered. But for now we're playing or via a hotspot on my phone, so the connection's a little bit iffy here and there. Um, but like as you can see there I tried to take off but it just didn't work but it's all right like it's better than not being able to play at all so have the waves turned back on they have as well I deliberately turned them off so uh, whilst I turn these back on um, I'm just gonna say we're gonna get some other stuff sort of done today there are waves wave strength 0.5 yeah, let's put you down to 0.15 better so just a slight bit of wavage um, but yeah so for the rest of this episode considering we've still got quite a bit of time left I'm just gonna be doing a few general odd jobs around the server of stuff I need to do looks like Toby's having some trouble connecting 
Um, but first I thought we'd come over here and check the coal shop because it's been a couple of days since we've opened the uh, the coal mall and I wanted to see if we'd had any sales. Uh, so as you can see, nothing in that nostril and... Ooh! We've actually got some sales. I'm actually surprised at that, considering um, how late in the game we are now. Everyone's pretty much sorted, but we've got three diamonds and a demi and which I'm assuming was Remington, unless his currency is just making the circulations of the server. But that is nice. Four, four diamonds that we can now reinvest into shopping. And there is one shop I would like to visit, but we need a few more diamonds for that. So... Yeah, it is It is going to be an interesting one. So as we fly down here to our area, uh, as you can see, we have got some stuff planned from the last episode. I'm just going to nip in here and get a very specific number of diamonds, which uh, you'll see. We can now reinvest these diamonds that we have into a local business. Uh, and that local business is... Definitely a shady one, and definitely something I'm not proud to invest into. If I can actually take off, we can get there. There we go. Um, yeah, it's just down here in the in the shopping district, just just here. This rundown, abandoned-looking shack is the shady business I am going to be investing in. As you can see, forge ones, hitman for hire. So we go in here in this. Shady, shady house. And um, we'll have a read of this. Welcome to Hitman for Hire. If you need another player killed or trapped, then you have come to the right place. Place an order. Simply rename your diamonds to the player you would like to be killed or trapped. If trapped, then message me on Discord to discuss. Then drop them in the chest on your right. To order a hit, 10 diamonds. To order a trap, 15 diamonds. Negotiable. Please replace the anvil. So, there is a player who definitely deserves uh, a death, if not a banning from the server, because of um, very, very slight things like it's Nano, and another thing that it's Nano. And me and Nano, even though we have a, a great friendship and we are business partners, he is also one of my arch nemesis, because it's Nano. No other reason than it's Nano. And recently Nano visited the UK and he stole a load of Weetabix and smuggled them back to Germany because he doesn't get Weetabix in Germany. And I say Weetabix should be a very British tradition which we have in the morning with our warm milk and tea. But Nano has taken these back to Germany which is blasphemous. So we are going to be dropping a kill on Nano. And Nano, if you're watching this, you have been warned. Stay alert, stay vigilant, because Forge is coming for you, and you will die. Okay, so in a strange turn of events, uh, I now have a second part of this episode, because we already have a contract in our... Yeah, not a small in, one either. In our order's chest, <laughs> that is 64 diamonds. <laughs> Toby, I can't believe we're ready. Right, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this out now. Do it. This will not be your simple, simple gardening job, my friend. This is a, this very might be the highlight of the business. I require an underwater landscaping job of an area roughly 100 in diameter. But this is a Ooh. fairly hollow area, you see. I am to be the owner of a large castle in a vast ocean, so my castle needs something to stand on, both metaphysically and, well, physically. I need you to build the terrain up from the ground to the designated level already marked for your convenience with stone bricks. The more specific detail will be on the next page. I also will be paying an extra 32 diamonds, as the effort of this job will likely be higher than you have anticipated. That being said, take your time, and if you need resources, be, so be sure to contact me. Deadly Remington. Details. There is a conduit set up for your convenience. The terrain is primarily gravel, as it is deep ocean, so some variation with sand would be appreciated but unnecessary. Build over anything I have already put there. A brine pond to be exact, just pretend it's not there. I would like to see it vary in steepness and to extend outward of 25 blocks. Add stones and rock piles as you see fit. Remove as much seaweed as possible. Add some sea gas and as much organics. Detail the terrain after the slopes, 35-ish blocks out. Shouldn't be as bad as it sounds 
as it is in essence a large <laughs> ring at this point of detailing. Next page. Located at X minus one nine two, Z minus one three four two, or you can get to the ocean monument via the Nether Hub and go up the waterfalls in any corner. If you require any additional payment or info, contact me on Discord. Wow. Damn. Um, <laughs> right. Oh boy. Yeah, we got we right. got we got thirty two Demians each. Oh it's Demians as well. Oh no. Oh, right, well. No, no, you roboted a bit there because of my stupid uni connection, but. Oh, I see, alright. Oh, well. So well, I'm, take, I'm taking my demo. Yeah, I'll take my demo as well if my internet will catch up. There we go. Right. Right, well, let's just get to it then, let's, I suppose. Let's get to the Ocean Monument. Okay, so we have made it over to Remington's Ocean Monument. And, yeah, it's, it's looking pretty cool with his build. Sorry, Remington, if this is spoiling anything, but. Um. Yeah, it's looking cool. We got we're actually helping you farm by being over here, getting a load of guardians. So, um, yeah, that's cool. But we found the stone brick ring he was talking about over down here, which is pretty cool. And we were thinking that um, as for the slope, this this hill pretty much is at the level of where we need to be at the stone brick. So I think we're going to work off of this hill here, going all the way around, and then sort of terraform it sloping out. And we're going to change it up so the very top is sand and it slowly goes more gravelly until it hits the ocean floor, which is entirely gravel. Uh, and then, yeah, we're going to extend it out 25 blocks of slope, as um, Remington asked us to. And then for the later 35 blocks, we're just going to detail it naturally. And we were toying with the idea of doing a coral reef, but I don't think we're actually going to do that now. Because it would look no. a bit out of place just having coral in the middle of just a ring. So what we're going to do is we're going to build some crazy cool rock formations and stuff like that. And yeah, loads of little boulders and stuff with bits of like sandstone, grey rock, stuff like this. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're going to get um, going on that and we'll be back with you once we've got a bit of an idea what we're doing. I actually can't believe you've come to dig sand without a shovel, Nano. No? <laughs> Can you not believe that? Look at how productive I am without it. I'm going back to natural methods. <laughs> Nano, I've dug a whole shulker box worth of sand. You've dug, dug probably about five. No, 41 actually. Oh wow, I've been, I'm impressed. Are you sure you haven't picked up some that I've dug? <laughs> oh. Okay, so guys, we are over here at the uh, at Toby's area currently because I've gone the wrong way. Um, we're we're doing a little bit of a, a prank on Nano right now because yeah, we're we're pausing the other project as you as you just saw um, because of the death. And this just I'm just gonna swim. I don't know my way around this place yet. But there's a certain someone we've been working with quite well. He's not on the server right now. Perfect. Uh, called Mr. Nano910. We've already ordered a hit on him this episode, which, by the way, worked. Go. I'm assuming it's gonna be in one of Forge's videos, so make sure you go check out Forge to see Nano die a wonderful death whilst we were scouting the area in the Ocean Monument. But there's something with this house that I've been thinking about ever since I joined the server and that is the fact that if we go up to it now the whack shack looks a little bit like a person as you can see it's got two crazy arms legs you know and I think that if we put eyes and a top hat on the top of it or just eyes or something on it to give it a face like come on Leg, leg, arm, arm. If we put two eyes up there, it's going to look absolutely stupid. So, yeah. I'm thinking that's what we do to finish off this episode. Um, yeah. Let's get some materials together and whack some eyes on top of Nano's whack shack. Maybe some other stuff. Okay, so guys... I have put eyes on this thing, and let me tell you, 
It looks incredible. Look at that. That just looks like the dumbest little thing ever. And I absolutely love it. Oh, that. Yes, that's perfect. Oh my goodness. That is incredible. <laughs> oh, anyway, as it gets night time, I'm going to have to say that is that is it for this episode. It might be a little bit of a shorter one. I'm not entirely sure yet. I haven't edited. I've got quite a bit of footage, but I'm going to cut quite a lot of it down. Uh, so yeah, we the reason we've put Rem's project on hold is because of the death and I just wanted to get this episode out for you. I know I've missed a day but daily uploads are going to be stopping now because I am back in Cardiff, back at uni so I don't know how much time I'm going to have but I'm going to try and get at least one a week. So the plan is at least one a week if not more. And this one I've had to cut short. We did a load of random ob jobs and we started a big project over at Remington's which is probably going to span a couple episodes where I'll do some updates whilst me and Nano have been working on it but wow that that prank is amazing I think it's funny but yeah anyway that is that is it for this episode um, I've been Toby this has been unorthodox, blocks and I'm very naked I don't have any armor I've got this one pickaxe that I bought from the pickaxe shop I don't know who runs that actually but it's a good one. It was six diamonds. I'm happy to spend some of my earnings from Remington's um, payment. But yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next episode when hopefully I've got my stuff back. Well, that's cool. I'm trying to find the baby phantom. Yeah. Where? 